Hi, today I want to talk about how to transition into quality run sessions after base training. We'll call this transition phase. And I'll describe in detail two transition sessions that I recommend. In very simple terms, base training is building up mileage with easy runs. Quality is when we start adding speed and strength work. Common quality sessions would be 10 by 400 meter efforts, Yasso 800s, Monogeti Fartlek, hill repeats, all excellent sessions, but not what I would recommend if you're coming off base training. Training is progression. We slowly build into things to reduce the chance of injury. So we need to start slowly with transition sessions. Key factors for transition sessions. Number one, lots of recovery between efforts. When we hit true quality phase, we will ramp up the fatigue. During transition phase, we want to minimize fatigue. We want to practice good technique on fresh legs. Number two, less efforts. Again, less fatigue. We are focusing on technique, not endurance at the moment. If you are like me, your technique gets sloppy during base training. You zone out on the easy runs and develop bad habits. We need to develop or regain that good technique before we can worry about maintaining it under fatigue. Number three, be conservative with the pace of your efforts. Base your speed on current fitness, not your goal pace in three or six months time. There's plenty of time to progress the efforts later on. Number four, learning the ability to self-pace. This means Knowing your speed without looking at your GPS watch. We'll discuss that a bit more later. These are all common sense. But what I've seen is that ego overrules common sense, especially for middle-aged men. Transition phase is where you really want to control your ego. Enough preamble. Let's look at the first session. Two to four repeats of 400 metres with 400 metre recovery four to eight repeats of 200 meter efforts with 200 meter recovery. Obviously there's a warm up beforehand and a cool down afterwards and I include drills in my warm up. I'll talk more about that later. The session is designed for you to do twice as many 200s as 400s. I typically start with three 400s so that would be six 200s. This means I can progress to four and eight a week or so later. Again, it's all about that slow progression. Recoveries. The recovery distances are the same as the effort, but you go much slower on the recovery. So the recovery duration is much longer. I like to do this session on an athletics track. One, far more accurate than a GPS watch over short distances, so better for comparing efforts. Also, I prefer to be able to visualize the start and finish points of my efforts. Number two, I only look at my watch once when I hit end lap to see my split time. Over short distances, the display GPS speed is unlikely to be accurate. And you want to learn how to gauge speed, especially at the start of a race. For speed, I've listed around 5k race pace for the 400 meter efforts but be conservative on your first session. You can gradually increase the speed in subsequent sessions. For example, if your 5K race time was 20 minutes, that would equate to 96 seconds per 400 meters. But on the first session, you might drop back to 100 seconds per 400. That'd be 20 minutes and 50 seconds for a 5K. And then as you progress week to week, you might build up to 94 seconds per 400, which would be the equivalent of a 19 minute 35 second 5K. Again, it's just gradually progressing. And as I said, the 200 meter efforts are just a little bit faster. So for a 20 minute 5K, that would be a 48 second 200 meters. So you might start off 47 seconds. That equates to a 1935 5K. Then come down to 45.5, which would be a 19 flat. And then finally get up to a 44 second 200 meters, which would be an 18 minute 25K. Again, just that little bit faster than the 400 meter efforts, but 
None of this is sprinting. It's all controlled fast running. At this early stage, in the transition stage, don't be tempted to add more repeats. Don't be tempted to run the efforts any faster. Plenty of time when you get to the true quality phase for that. Now, concentrate on good technique and consistent split times. You don't want to start off fast and gradually get slower. You also don't want to see the times jumping around all over the place. Splits are unlikely to be consistent during the first session or two. It takes practice, but you want to work on that over time to try and nail that same time for each split. I promised two sessions. The second is threshold intervals. So three to five repeats of 800 meters at threshold pace, 400 meters recovery. Again, you want to include a warm up and a cool down, and I would recommend doing some drills towards the end of the warm up before the first effort. The speed of the efforts is listed as threshold pace. This is roughly the speed you could hold for a 60 minute time trial. So for most of us, somewhere between your 10K race pace and half marathon pace. As a general guide for threshold pace, you are taking two strides per breath in and two strides per breath out. You can talk, but not in full sentences. You should not be puffing loudly. Breathing should be relatively controlled. The recovery is the same distance as the first session I showed, but the efforts are longer. So the recovery to effort ratio is a bit less. Two things, even though the efforts are longer in this session, the pace is less. So you shouldn't be out of breath. For me, a 400 meter recovery at a slow jog is around three and a half minutes. So you shouldn't really need much more recovery than that. In the last two weeks, I've done both of these sessions. So let's see how I went. This is Ballon Park Athletics Track in Frankston. Cold and wet, but that means less people on the track. I'll briefly take you through a few of the drills I do before I start my efforts. I generally like to think of them as a progression, easy to harder, slowly preparing the body for the efforts. Uh, start with a skip, just, just isolates one knee at a time. Then I move on to high knees, so both knees up. Grapevine is one of my favourite drills, really loosens you up through the hip area. I call this single leg kick, isolating one leg at a time, and then butt kicks, so you're doing both feet one after the other. And finally run-throughs, gradually building the pace, look to hit your interval pace for the last 10 metres of the last run-through. I did three 400 metre efforts and six 200 metre efforts. You can see my splits on the screen. For each effort I've listed split time, max heart rate, average cadence, and then in brackets, vertical oscillation in centimetres, percentage of vertical oscillation, average number of milliseconds each foot remained on the ground, and average distance in metres per stride. For the moment, we'll just look at the split times. And they are all over the place. That's expected for my first quality session in six months. You can see the first 400 metre effort is too fast. Same problem with the first 200 metre effort. Remembering that for your first quality session, you want to err on the slow side. I'd finally sorted out my pace and rhythm for the last three by 200 meters. So I've included all that extra data, heart rate cadence, vertical oscillation, etc., just to show that once I sorted out my rhythm, every stat was almost identical. Whereas before that, all the stats were up and down. I just wanted to highlight that these early quality sessions are not about how fast you can go, they are about finding your rhythm, getting your technique, and then in the next phase we can look to go faster. Just thought I'd show you the cockatoos at the track. I muted the sound because they are very noisy. Unfortunately no video footage for the threshold intervals because I couldn't make it back to the athletics track due to stricter lockdown laws limiting how far we can travel for exercise. So I found a nice loop on some back suburban roads. 
the efforts ended up being 750 meters instead of 800 but for the purpose of the session it makes no difference looking at the stats first and last efforts too fast but I got into a nice groove on the second and third efforts and again you can see that when I find my rhythm all the stats become very similar I was actually daydreaming during the second and third efforts when I concentrated again for the last effort I ran too fast sometimes you can overthink things I found another athletics track close by grass is a bit long and the painted lines are a little faint but should be fine for my purposes obviously going through my drills at the moment the session will be a repeat of last week's 400s and 200s but I've increased the number of efforts looking at the stats first and last efforts of both the 400s and 200s were a little off but all my middle efforts were far better than last week what's more they were significantly faster but felt easier just showing you don't need to rush the pace in the early sessions the key is to do less and not pull up sore which will be one of the biggest factors going faster next time I hope all this made sense. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.